G'day everyone. Thought I'd just give you a tour of uh, my workshop. This is my bandsaw. It's one of the tools that I would say gets used every day. I've put um, this milling vise up on a bit of 4x4 and I've got that held in there and that's what I use for cutting off small bits, small metal bolts and uh, all fine stuff. I find I probably use the bandsaw set up like this most of the time um, besides putting large stock in the normal way holding in there. Alright, I'll just take you around. That's the entrance to my shed but outside here got the light pick up. This is my grinding station. It's just a lean-to roof. Open both ends onto the backyard and uh, allows me to do all my grinding and dusty stuff outside. That sun just blocked most of that out there. But, um, the grinder got the polishing grinder, a uh, little wet and dry grinder, three in one metal working tool, linisher, uh, all the shells, lighting, drop saw, so got these work all these outdoor workbenches. And this is where I do most of my spray painting, glues, painting, anything with fumes I do out here. Usually breeze out here and uh, just nice working out here. I'll walk along here and I'll take you into my shed. The shed's quite small, as you'll soon see. So walking, this is the doorway, walking into my shed. This is the main part of my shed. It's the northern wall. Usual screwdrivers, tape measures, you name it, it's there. Uh, different power tools, drawers with sundry things, more power tools. More storage down here. Uh, it's a belt drive compressor, uh, acetylene gas, more storage, more tools, drill press, more tools. More bits and pieces. You can hear that beeping. That's a um, hay truck picking up some hay in a paddock not far from me. More storage here. I have got these on the floor everywhere. These are rubber mats. I bought these three or four years ago. One of the best things I've ever bought, Jesus tell you what, it makes a difference standing on these for four or five hours a day. Now I'll show you the ceiling. That's one thing with a small shed. You don't get to waste any space at all. So the whole ceiling is just jars screwed on. As you can see, every available space is used. Um, through there, that's the lathe in the mill room, which is even smaller again than the space that's here. So I'll walk into here and show you this. There's my 10 by 22 lathe. Uh, it's sitting on some old kitchen benches. There's the black mats again in this room. Uh, fitted most of my tooling 
at the back. Easy reach. Uh, taps and dies. Different oils. More tools. I've got air in here as well. So spin you around. More shelving. You can see the roof's not even very high in this part of the shed. There's the little Sieg mini mill. More tools on here. Drawers. Metal racks. Ubiquitous tooling. We all have. But as you can see, it's a uh, it's not a huge shed by any means, but uh, I like to think, it's like that old saying, it's not the size, it's um, what you do with it that counts. But uh, yeah, this is small. I'll just show you, this is looking out from the lathe room, out into the main part of the shed. I think what makes it easier for me is having this, that outdoor section. Being able to go out there and uh, paint, grind, and do the major messy things. There's a lot of workbench out there with it. The, um, let's walk back out. That's a heap of room out there. And then go around this corner here. This, this makes that much more bearable, having that smaller shed. But there you go. That's my workshop an outdoor work area.